Hello, this is Hamid and in this session I'm gonna teach you how to become familiar with for the same environment. Actually we have uh, different menus in for the same and you have to first set up your for the same with at least one collector and one supervisor. To know more about the for the sim installation you can visit the website for the net website and download the uh, uh, supervisor and collector for for the sim so this is the dashboard of the for the sim that you can uh, customize the dashboard uh, for your environment security dashboard it shows you the uh, inbound port or uh, denied internal sources so you can see here uh, 16 or 17 and 24 are the uh, denied interval internal sources and we have here the count match that shows the country denied inbound and um, we can have some analytic search here uh, that shows the analytic through the uh, for the sim so if you look at the this diagram I can here search based on a specific time and I, sh I just can add a, some attribute like reporting IP address and if I add here one for two to three three two and one nine seven 240 I can search based on the specific IP address I can search real time apply and run or if I, I would like I can search it based on a specific time like 15 minutes ago or one hour ago so if I just click on one hour ago uh, for this device it doesn't have any uh, logs so I can try uh, just uh, based on the uh, any anything that's coming in the device and the first sim and apply and run so I may have some logs and I can monitor the first sim from here so if I click just 15 minutes ago um, uh, it may show me something or one hour ago yeah we have something more than 15 minutes ago so i can uh, bring it here and if you look at any logs here um, there's some options i can uh, bring and open the logs just double click on the logs here uh, there is a bottom let me show you exactly where uh, there is a bottom um, for each item that you can uh, monitor the specific item like here I can see the application name collector ID city and a lot of information about uh, the event type IP protocol or uh, the type of event and the session ID so if you click uh, any specific time like uh, 1527 you can have the specific IP address and the logs raw event logs so you can search it here uh, just if you click here uh, and add to your watch list or you can have a real-time performance of that or show event for 10 minutes it will show you to your event list you can add to filter so here when you add it to your filter you have the reporting IP address and the reporting IP address uh, you can have multiple filter 
uh, you can add it uh, yes I want to save the changes and here uh, you, you can just uh, add another uh, tab or another uh, filter for your filter search so I can add uh, like uh, another IP address or another item from this filter list so you can add and for the next filter or you can use the or uh, for your filter so and there are some operator here like not in less than more than or uh, the other operators you can use for your filter uh, there is some time it's gonna be uh, real time relative like uh, one hour ago or absolute time that you can have a specific time period time between uh, the start time or then time Uh, this one was the analytic tab the other one is incident tab that you can see some incidents happening in the for sim like uh, this one is a sudden report that you can see the reports um, sudden increased reports or any machines that they have a risk score more than uh, specified in the for sim you can see here and there are some you can see it in the list or you can see in a risk score so based on the risk score i can see uh, the devices uh, you can sort it based on low risk or high risk and the number of the devices and here you have again the time that you can refresh it now or you can set it as 20 minutes ago uh the incident is uh is uh, you can have a kind of a ticketing system so based on the incident is happening in your system you can create a ticket and uh send it to your uh different tiers in your organizations and they can respond or remedy the issue and here uh, we have uh, again the, the kind of uh, tickets that we are not and uh, we haven't created now but they created uh, the ticket list can be uh, assigned to any person or you can see the creator or creator creation date and something else here is we have cmdp that's the main part you can see the firewalls and operating systems here so now in my system there are four firewalls with different ip address some of them is in the pending if you look at the status and uh, some of them are just unmanaged again we have a unix here that the status is pending and if you add any devices or any uh, other uh, equipment uh, you can see in the in this category in net like network devices we have firewall so four firewall are listed and connected to for sim and for the other section if we have uh, some servers like windows or unix uh, it can list the unix servers or windows servers in for the sim some of them are connected uh, automatically but some of them needs some configuration that we will consider it in the uh, next video and here we have some reports and rules that is predefined in forism and malware ip that's and default password malware hash that they are um, defined in the forism uh, like if you uh, click one of them uh, there's some basic parameters like Apache and the protocol 
based on these rules and this parameter 4G SIM can detect the devices and create a report here the last one is the uh, setup and the setup it had lots of uh, features like storage that you should at least have one storage for 4G SIM uh, you can have a local storage or you can have an NFS that you can connect your further sim to NFS or you can use the elastic search uh, again elastic search is the kind of uh, feature for for the lock uh, storage and you should at least have one collector for your further sim uh here we have one collector with a limited license so the collector can collect some uh events per second so it depends on your license some of them it supports more than 100 uh, event per second but here in my license uh, based on my license it's gonna be 50 event per second uh, we have you can also let us see the, your license and uh, in my license the total ESP is gonna be 500 and I cannot uh, enter more than 500 when I am defining a collector you can have some workers if you need the workers you can add here your workers and basically worker uh, is getting data from collector and send it to supervisor uh, supervisor is like a main uh, uh, user interface or main um, data analyzer for for his sim here in the setting again um, you can have in setting you can have uh upload your worker or you can define your worker if you have in my case here the worker is the same as the supervisor and uh, what else do we have here you, you can add your license uh in, in this part so if you have any license you can add the license uh in this section uh just uh, uh, go to your role or any uh, license sections that you have you can add the license for your first sim there is a section for health that you can set up uh, set the check or set up the health uh look for my cloud health everything is healthy i can check it here so process and the other uh, cpu physical memory is in a good uh, shape and the collector health is again for my supervisor if i click here i have a uptime around 19 days and the status is up so again if i click show process it will show me the process now is running for the collector and here i can see that the process even for more than 464 hours they are up so i don't i don't see any issue and if you use the elastic search you can see the elastic search else here uh, let's go to um, setup and in setup section there are some important section that uh, we will consider in the next video uh, like the credentials so you can set up this nmp or ssh of device here and after that you can monitor the performance like this NMP or SSH or ping of the devices and basically 
Uh, for the same, look at the SSH and pull the events from through the SSH. And if you have a Windows or Linux operating system, you can add the agent. So based on the Windows or Linux agent, we can pull events from the system. So every time that you uh, install uh, any device in FortiSim, you can go to CMDB and check that the device is connected to FortiSim or not. If it is connected, you can see that uh, some of them is like the method is just like the other one is just like pink and it's an MP. So if I click here and let me bring up the uh, the browser. So here in the browser section, uh, you can see here the summary and the properties and the data that's coming around. Uh, one minutes ago, we have SNMP, and you can see the interfaces of this device. It has eleven interfaces so you can go to configuration if you we have a ssh240 gate or any devices you can see the configuration here and even if you have some uh, operating system the software or install patches it will show it here so uh, this in this video we just briefly uh, explain the 4D theme and what feature you can monitor in the 4D theme. I hope this has been informative and thanks for watching.